So we've got the panel up. Um, I've got a junction box. I've noticed I need to reseal this side. I actually finished at one o'clock in the morning by the time I got this bit done. It's not bolted to the roof. It's actually sealed with this. It's called Silka 512. Uh, you can you can find it online. It's very very strong adhesive. Um, it's flexible, which means, for example, the roof wasn't level here, so I've had to build it up a bit, um, so it actually fitted. Not a biggie. Um, I was a bit concerned the first, the, this morning. I'm thinking, is it going to fly off the, <laughs> fly off the roof um, as we're heading up the motorway? But it, no problems whatsoever. Um, yeah, very, very strong. If you put this on, if you get it wrong, be aware that the actual recommendation of removing it is mechanical uh, to the point that basically it's it's going to do a lot of damage. <laughs> Once it's on, it's on. Good stuff, though. Um, this is my controller, which, as you can see, it's charging. How do you tell? Well, over here, I've got this little sunbeam, and you'll see these little rays. So that's going down to the solar panel, and you can see there's a little arrow pointy they're saying it's sending power one thing is i'm not seeing any amperage here but i know it's charging because this is going up um this was actually 11 point something earlier but it's now heading up to 12 um almost always on 12 um this amperage one here is showing 44 percent 45 that was 41 percent so i know it's charging um now one of the things i recommend because what i've got is as you see in the box there's a box here, uh, that one there. The cables actually go through the roof, and they're actually inside here. Um, when you're stripping all this roof panel out, before you put everything away, get yourself a, a multimeter, stick it on voltage, and what you want to do is get a reading off the panel itself. Basically, put it on voltage, and as you can see there, I've got 13.6 volts which is plenty, it's, it's, it's charging away, because I'm not in a very sunny place at the minute, I'm actually in the shade. As you can see, there's a shadow between the buildings. So, yeah, that's getting there, that's nearly there. Um, Going to have a tidy up, move some of this stuff around. You probably noticed a lot of fingerprints and stuff on this. This isn't really a biggie, because I'm actually going to reline all this, because I'm changing the lights to the little LED round ones, with the touch sensitive ones. So all that's coming out anyway. So that's the next big project. I'm going to order some something for, for that off eBay this week. But it's getting there. Uh, what else is it? Oh, that was a funny thing. Because I had this light on uh, f until about one o'clock in the morning, I had problems starting the battery this morning. Which is why the actual car battery is actually being charged by the solar charger, so I can actually run the van. Um, wouldn't normally use these cables, it's just that because my battery was flat, I couldn't actually get down to the hardware store to get the right cables. Because um, these are a bit underrated for this. But it'll do for tonight, just so I can get to the hardware store in the morning. A couple of other things going in. This is a little USB connector, which is going on the dashboard. You know, we've got the little switches. I just push this in, rewire, rewire this. Good thing about this is it has an inline fuse, which stops any uh, unwanted electrical fires. This one um, has obviously got a cigarette lighter. It's got a voltage um, display here, so you know how many volts are actually on the system. Why is that important? Because if you've got a problem with your system and it starts showing it's 11 volts, 10 volts or something, you'll be able to see it's actually happening. Over here we've got a cigarette lighter, and obviously this one is a cigarette lighter. Because obviously the system's a 12 volt system, things will drop into these um, for charging my cool box, laptop, and I've got an inverter as well, which will be used for... Um, my camera equipment so I'm looking forward to installing this next these just screw on and then you crimp all the connectors to your cables Sim simple system 
But I want to get all this stuff done because I'm going to start relining the van next. The back seat's coming out as well. I've decided I'm going to keep this this seat and get rid of the back one. Um, I'm going to put a rock and roll bed in there. So this is all coming out. Put a rock and roll in there so the back section will fold down. This seat folds down like a table anyway when we're camped up somewhere. You probably notice it's full to the brim at the back. That's because all the camping gear turned up a few weeks ago and I haven't sorted it yet. There's um, a full awning and all sorts in there, camp beds, all sorts. So, yeah, lots to get on with.